Welcome to part 2 of this 24 hour camping adventure. In this episode you will see me drive the actual track that I wanted to drive and find a camping spot that will be one of my top 5 camping spots. I will also give you an insight to my setup and show you some of the gear that I use. And yeah, I go for a swim. So sit back, relax, enjoy your morning coffee and enjoy this beautiful venture through the Norwegian backcountry. So the views are pretty pretty epic. Uh, you can see I came from all the way down the valley. So I've been driving this road for about 20 minutes, I think 25. Yeah, I'm not sure. So as I'm driving now, I'm spotting for places to uh, to camp. I saw some good places. Uh, the river is currently <coughs> down there. So this road is going down back to the river a bit further up so I'm hoping to, to find a place on the highest top where the, also the river is so the highest top and where the river is because I want to stay next to the river hopefully take a bath uh, that will be nice after all the warm day today so yeah I just love this driving new roads and uh, yeah, seeing new places in the nature in Norway. Yeah. It's beautiful. So uh, yeah. It's still pretty warm. I'm guessing it's around 25 degrees at least. Uh, and it's gonna stay like this until 9 I think. So the time is, yeah, it's almost six. So it's, uh, so I'm gonna drive a bit further, find, uh, see if I can find a good spot to camp. Just, uh, I really want that bath. Yes. Time to find a camp. Hopefully by the river. Almost no cars, so uh, really nice.
just check the map and there's a lake just up ahead so I'm gonna drive there if that's good uh, I'm gonna stay there if not I'm gonna hit head back a bit so I get the, the sun on the right side so uh, yeah So after checking the camp spot, I decided it was too wet to camp there and I drove on for a bit. After a while, I found a new lake and this would turn out to be the perfect place to set up camp. And views like this is why I love overlanding in Norway. I just think I want to stay here. Uh, I'm gonna park and then walk around a bit and see if there's a good place to, to sleep. So I brought my tent Also my uh, camping bed and all the other things. So uh, I think I'm gonna use the tent because of all of the insects, the mosquitoes and uh, smile oh. as you can see I'm really happy about the place that I found and I can't wait to set up camp walking back to the car I saw a reindeer coming down the road so I had to check it out This is why you take the side roads when you go overlanding in Norway and take the mountain passes. You yeah. find places so like this and Norway. you get close to nature and animals like you can't do driving on the main Times. roads. So the mosquitoes is getting pretty intense but if you have a proper uh, mosquito repellent it's not that bad. So you're going to get stung but the repellent really helps. So I prefer using the spray on kind because it's just easier to put on. The brand on the spray doesn't matter but just remember to get it on your packing list so you have it when you go overlanding in Norway. So I'm walking down to the camping spot and I'm checking if it's where I want to be and also checking how wet it is because I don't want to make tracks driving down here. So far it's looking pretty good. It's uh, high and dry and I'm just gonna check the temperature of the water and if it's possible to take a swim here. 
The water is super clear, so you can see the small fishes swimming around. It looks like the perfect place to go out for a swim. Looks so nice. Place is pretty cool. It's actually not that bad. I wonder how far out I need to go to take a swim. I think I'm gonna stay here, it's so nice. So we're gonna get the car, drive it down, get the tent up, I think. Um, just so it's ready. So if I take a bath, I can just get in there without the, all the mosquitoes and the change. I think it's gonna be nice, so... Looks like the best place to put up the tent is over there. So we're gonna have shadows on the tent. During... Uh, during uh, the night. So the sun is gonna go over there. I think around 12, maybe, and around 4 o'clock it's going to come up again, just over there, so the shadow is good for, uh, for getting to sleep in the morning. In the middle of the summer in Norway, the further up you go uh, in Norway and all over the globe, uh, the more light it is during, uh, during the night, so it's never dark. So um, yeah, getting the defender and going to start making camp. Really excited about this camp spot and taking a swim. I'm just stopping to uh, put it to low gear so I don't have to juggle the clutch as much finding a spot to park. This way I can just keep it at idle, don't have to do anything, just stare. So I changed my mind. Uh, I'm gonna make camp there. So I changed my mind because I didn't want to lose out on the great views over the lake. I figured the views was worth more than the shadow that the trees were giving. It's gonna be a bit hotter in the tent during the evening and the night, but it's all gonna be worth it when I'm sitting eating dinner seeing the beautiful sunset casting its light over the lake. So I have a pretty basic setup, but it's easy and it's really quick to set up. And this is support to me, especially as it rains a lot in Norway. Put the tarp up from uh, the defender to the tree, create some shadow. I'm hoping, uh, maybe not. So it's the first time I'm trying just to use the inner tent. Uh, it's kind of hard because the tent poles are actually in the outer tent. I knew this about my tent, but I wanted to try it out first and see if I could make it work. Learning by doing, and after this trip I'm going to be looking for a new tent that is self-standing, has the poles connected to the inner tent, 
so it's going to be much faster and easier to set up. So this is pretty much the setup. I'm gonna try using only the inner tent. It was a bit hard to set up, uh, just we had to the crossing pol poles. But uh, because it's so warm, I just want as little as possible. So that's why I'm using only the inner tent. I have my uh, stool. Uh, using the uh, the sleeping arrangement box and also the cooking box uh, for uh, a table for the cooking gear so I can sit upright while uh, making uh, dinner and I have my it's a small chair which you can just put a plate on actually uh, my parents who used to do it do, do that so that's I think I got it from them as well. Yeah, I got it from them. So this is inside the car now. So uh, I think this is gonna be good. I'm ready to go and uh, check out uh, the temperature in the water. So uh, when the sun is coming out, it's just one cloud. So when the sun comes out, uh, most of the mosquitoes goes away for a while, and I can go. Just take a short swim and uh, change some clothes and start making dinner. So just put the uh, pants and some uh, new, new, put some new clothes here ready to when I get up. So I'm going to, just going to use the old T-shirt to uh, to wipe myself up with the water if I need to. I forgot my towel. I don't think it's going to be too cold. It's gonna be okay. But you can see the snow is still still uh, still here, so I think it's gonna be okay. I can see a footprint. Has someone been here before? It's much warmer in the water than I thought. And this surprised me because seeing the snow at the edges of the water, I just assumed it's going to be really cold. But it would turn out to be a great swim and I would stay in the water for a long time. I'm guessing the water temperature is around 20 to 22 degrees. Not bad. It's actually pretty good. Damn. 
big one that was there. It doesn't sting you, it bites, but it's not too bad. But it starts to itch afterwards. Itch. I'm trying not to move around. See, the water is super clear. So this is uh, this is much warmer than it was in the in the sea in the fjord Trondheim fjord uh, when we were there yeah we, last weekend I think we went swimming and uh, it was much colder than this. Damn it. So annoying. You can see the snow still lying there all the way on the ridge. It's pretty strange, so warm in the water and then there's snow. You can see the snow on the mountain. Yeah, so you can see a camp up there. So, I think I'm done for today at least. Probably gonna go out tomorrow again. You see. But uh, I think it's time for dinner. It's almost, uh, yeah, it's uh, almost quarter to nine in the evening. So, uh, I think I'm gonna start making dinner and uh, bacon and eggs as usual. It's the standard uh, when you go overlanding in Norway. So uh, only thing missing, Eric. When you see this, Eric, I know you wish you would have been here instead of moving all the stuff. So yeah. Camp, dinner. Just putting on some new clothes, using the old t-shirt just to dry off the most of the water. I was pretty dry up here. You can see the mosquitoes have been here. Not nice, but uh, it's part of the fun. But I was standing still too much also while filming and uh, so I'm going to put on this and I'm going to, have to put on some new socks and hopefully this is my socks. Nope. I have brought my wife's socks. That's, that's smart. I have other socks that I can use. I also have a new. This will be perfect, I think, for tonight. In terms of insects. So the mosquitoes is pretty much everywhere now. That's why I'm putting on long pants and I'm also gonna put on a sweater so that I don't get eaten up and then use the, the spray again. I think I was in water almost for an hour now and it's, it's pretty warm.
Putting on the eyes. So if you were wondering, uh, it's my... I just made three of these just to test out if they are solid enough and yeah. If they work out, I'm gonna start putting them online so you can buy one. If you're wondering about the logo, it's the Overlanding in Norway logo with the LRD in it. So it's uh, my own design. Can probably do some more with it, but uh, for now, it's good enough. I like it. Now just need some uh, mosquito repellent and uh, make some dinner. Uh, this is my box, it's a bit messy now, but uh, everything has its place. So since I need to go down to the, the utensils uh, box, let's see, this is like so. so I have some dry foods here and coffee and some uh, uh, this is uh, called real firmat or real so it's dry tech which means it's uh, just you just add boiled uh, water and uh, it's, it's pretty good and it's fast now time to eat This is what it's all about, getting out there, enjoying the views and relaxing after a good day of driving. It's been a pretty long day after the first trip with the Norwegian Land Rover Club and then continue on my own, trying to find a grocery store, fuel and then driving up into the mountain. Getting to take that swim feeling fresh, making warm food, and just enjoying the surroundings. So, just putting it all in the back of the car. Just in case it starts to blow, blow. <coughs> just in case it gets windy. 
so I don't have to get up in the night worrying about it so that's it I think it's not too late it's uh, it's uh, almost quarter to ten you can see how light it is outside still it's gonna stay almost like this through the whole night and around four as I said earlier the sun is gonna come up I think around there somewhere the sun is there and just gonna follow the edge and then start coming up again there so I have some tree for the shadows of the early sun um, but I think around nine eight maybe I'm gonna be wide awake uh, because of the sun heating up the, the tent so uh, a really good day really happy how it turned out the, the drive here also the camping spot and the swim yeah it was uh, it was really nice I needed this and it's it's kind of a kickstart looked like a duck um, it's kind of a kickstart to the season after all this uh, this uh, limitation with COVID-19 so uh, I'm looking forward to getting out more trips hopefully with the family and also doing a bigger trip with Eric and uh, Adrian later this summer I'm just gonna stay here enjoy the evening and then jump into bed pretty soon I'm kind of tired so yeah see you tomorrow thank you so much for watching and remember to uh, like hit me up with a comment if you have some question about my gear or the trip and remember to subscribe support the channel by subscribing and uh, check out patreon i want to give a special thanks to my patrons for supporting me and uh, making it able for me to create more content like this Good night.